Hello and welcome to this edition of Off the Beaten Base Paths. I'm Austin Gisrael and I'm at Jim Barnett Park in Winchester, Virginia, home of the Winchester Royals of the Valley Baseball League, as well as Shenandoah University. But it's neither of those teams that brings me to the park today. You see, Winchester was the birthplace of one of the greatest ball players that even ardent aficionados of the game might not know, Spotswood Poles. The city of Winchester dedicated this plaque to Poles, who played in both the Negro and Cuban leagues for 14 seasons from 1909 to 1923. The speedy outfielder, whom some regarded as even faster than Cool Papa Bell, was a prodigious hitter as well. Negro League records are notoriously incomplete, especially during the era in which Poles played. But some sources list a batting average of 487 for the 1914 season when Poles played for the New York Lincoln Giants. The Seamheads.com database shows Poles with a 14 average for the year. Not too shabby in either case. Poles missed the entire 1918 season, having enlisted in the famed Harlem Hellfighters the year before. As his plaque notes, he earned five battle stars and a Purple Heart, having risen to the rank of Sergeant. The Hellfighters, officially the 369th Infantry Regiment, saw more time in combat than any other American regiment in World War I. Poles retired after the 1923 season and settled in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where he operated a taxicab business. He died in 1962 at the age of 75 and is buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Perhaps Hall of Fame manager John McGraw wrote the most fitting epitaph for Poles. Found among McGraw's papers after he died was a note listing the four top Negro leaguers that the longtime New York Giants manager would sign if the big leagues weren't segregated. Spotswood Poles was on McGraw's list. Thanks for watching this edition of Off the Beaten Base Paths.